don't do it. 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 All right, we're back. I just brought the S12 home. Just been over to Osaka Imports to pick up some S13 LCAs as well as um, the, D, the D brackets with the D bushes for the sway bar. There's the S12. I put in some stiffer, stiffer springs and increased the, uh, the dampening on the rear shocks. This is about to go off to my fabricator again. I don't think we've mentioned at all that uh, I got new wheels on this. Yeah, Buddy Club P1s. They're 16 by 8.5 plus 17 and 16 by 8.5 plus 27. Um, these have got a 10mm spacer on them and extended wheel nuts so that it's safely on. Uh, the last thing I got done at the fabricator though is this. If you can see it all, let's see if you can see. What if I bring it closer in? Yeah, so if you see it there, there's no mid muffler anymore. And I have a lot more, I have a lot more underbody clearance. Because that mid muffler would scrape on almost everything. And now, if I'm going to scrape on anything, it'll be all of the underside and not just the mid muffler. But, it's not straight piped. I had the mid muffler moved to just the back here. I think they actually put the blasties poking out further, which I'm cool with. It's going back to the fabricator today so that I can get the wideband O2 sensor because it's in on like a perfectly horizontal angle. Condensation has formed and gotten into the tip of it and fried the sensor. It's fried two of them now, so I'm like, screw this. I'm going to take it in, get it put on a much more extreme angle. Condensation can't get in. It's not going to fry any sensors. Oh, and the other thing. Hang on. I'll show you real quick. Take a look in here. I have this. And this, I don't know where to put it. Let's just put it here for now. As well as a pinion gear in there, is a 4.9 ratio R200. This is gonna be sick. So for now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna warm up the S13 because I'm about to drive that to the fabricators. Actually, I'll get the, I'll get the start. I'll get the start. Because it's cool, why the hell not? In case you don't follow our Instagram, news on Mark's cars are that Mark's S13 got major, major defected, so it's now requiring an engineering certificate and everything, which it's currently getting done. Um, and uh, what was he? What he was in the meantime, he was driving his Porsche 944 Turbo, uh, a car that he inherited from his dad, and that got stolen. So he's without cars right now. So I think he's borrowing another friend's one. He was borrowing, <laughs> after all of this happened, he borrowed the S12, and then, I think a day or two into borrowing the S12, the clutch fell apart on it. He got kind of like left on the side of the road about 40, 50 minutes from home, on a Sunday at 11 p.m. Not having the greatest luck with cars. But, um, he was driving around in a friend's another friend's car that isn't some kind of modified Japanese or 80s vehicle so it's not it's probably not going to fuck up on him and um, yeah his cars will be back soon and that'll be exciting because once I've dropped the S13 off I'm going to get started on the uh, front lower control arms on the Gazelle so yeah all of this work going on for the Gazelle is because this weekend coming up is a uni drift camp which is going to be awesome over it will be 75 kilowatts 100 and, sorry 75 kilowatts 1200 kilograms doesn't get you very far but it's going to be sick and the tires on the back are already flogged so like i got some spares it's going to slide it's going to be good i got to fix that bloody caster angle that's messed up
that's back in the driveway with plenty of room either side for the front end we're done also marks here so once we're done dropping off the s13 i'm gonna come back get started on this so i'm back from dropping off the um s13 to the fabricator now i got this thing to deal with so pretty much as i mentioned in the uh, first part s15 caster brackets s13 adjustable caster arms some fresh caster rod bolts so i'm gonna jack up the car and get started on that This is the great part about the S15 ones. They bolt up perfectly there. And on this back one here as well, up there. Straight D links, whatever they're called. Anyway, this is an absolute bitch to get to. I finally managed to break it loose. These sway bar bushes are absolutely roasted. I really shouldn't put them back in, but I got the lower control arm out over here. I got the nut off on the top of the ball joint. I can't get the ball joint off. This hammer, the top of it just keeps flying off. So I'm probably not gonna keep using it. Derek's on his way over in a little while with his bigger hammer and some other tools. It's been a, been a bitch. So I reckon what I'll do is get moving on the other side, drop the other sway bar half. Yeah, I reckon I'll move on to the other side. Let's see what I can do about getting that done. And hopefully Derek will show up soon or... So I've done what I can about these ball joints. I've soaked them in some lube for now. So when uh, Derek gets here with his hammer that didn't fall apart, we'll have a whack at this. But for now, I'm gonna bolt in the other S15 bracket. And I guess that's about all I can do. I could probably... No, I'll do the caster. I'll actually do the caster arms last. So yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to perform at the track day, but I'm keen to give it a go and fix these issues nonetheless because these issues suck. I don't know what I can do now. That's on. Control. Yeah, I can put the base of the lower control arms in, the new ones. Now, because of the knuckles, the wheel already pokes out a fair bit and then these actually sit a bit further out again. They're a little bit longer. I can't properly tighten these yet because uh, I need a 22 mil spanner and I'm not gonna tighten it with my shifter. My shifter is a piece of shit. Take out those ones, chuck in the new ones. That's looking good, obviously not tightened yet because other stuff has to come out. But we're getting closer. Probably can only see my knee, but we're getting closer. I found a solution. In one of the old videos, we put white line racing sway bars on the S13. So that meant I had my stock ones here, which meant I had the straight, the straight line mount, and it fits the front sway bar of an S12. So that fixes a lot of issues, especially these royally mounted ones. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much done all I can now. I just wait for Derek to get here.
Welcome to day three. Um, Derek just messaged me. So, last night we stopped filming because it started, you know, raining and building up a little bit and we didn't want to be stuck out there trying to film while in the rain. But we found out the LCAs that I bought, they're not S13, they're S14. Some of you have probably already spotted that, but whatever. I've never dealt with that part before. So yeah, they're in now. As a result, it's given it a decent bit more camera and a bit more track, <clears throat> which is kind of annoying. We did an eyeball alignment, so it's a little bit toe in. The caster is pulled forwards a decent bit more, so the arm is like uh, perpendicular at the side of the body versus like angling towards the rear of the car. Um, it's got a ton of camber, it's a lot lower. So I've just raised the fronts, I've just reduced the camber in the front, even though it's still like massive amounts of camber. I'm keen, this thing is cool. Took it for a drive last night, every single steering issue that, is, that I've had in this car is gone. Um, the big issue that it was, was like past 30 degrees on the wheel, like I'll show you. Oh, car's on the ground. Anyway, yeah, like past like 30 degrees on the wheel, it'd just get stupid heavy, like can barely steer. And that was a result of caster with the whole wheel being further back in the guard. It was back about here. Um, when we first wound in, oh my god, that garbage truck, holy shit. When we first wound in the caster, when I steered the front of the wheel, it was almost touching the, the base of the guard here. And with like a tiny bit more wound in, just to see if it does hit, it was. It was rubbing hard up against that. So I was like, cool. Bring it back a little bit to a, a decent, decent position. But yeah, now, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Let's see if this works. We got S15 caster bracket, S13 adjustable caster arm, S14 LCA, S13 knuckle, S13 coilover. And it's awesome. The other thing, the other lucky thing that we came across was that the um, S12 sway bar didn't fit at all, didn't reach. Uh, well actually no, it reached way too far past the LCA, which meant that the link would have been like angled really really far forwards. Luckily in one of the older videos, I probably said this last night, we put the S13 sway bar in with the S13 end links, they fit a lot better and where the uh, sway bar ends with the end link, where it mounts the end link, it was the tiniest bit off on the LCA. If we put it with the end link on the outside of the sway bar, then we would have had the end link hitting on the caster rod. We didn't want that, so we drilled a new little hole, just a little, just on like the opposite side of the sway bar end link mount. So we put the end link on the instead of the outside, we put it on the inside and put it there. So I guess in reality, we've put on a slightly uh, smaller diameter sway bar, so it's going to be softer. And we've also mounted it at a closer point on the LCA, so it's going to have less leverage. So we've sort of just put in an even softer um, front sway bar, <laughs> which I don't really care about. Like, it's a fun, cruisy car. It's going to do some kids. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope it does, but that's all in. Feels awesome, steering it, going for like a, a cheeky little drive last night. Once it was done, it was absolutely awesome. Um, now it's sitting at a much more level height. I'm super duper keen. Right now, like I said, I've just fixed the camber a little bit and what else did I do? I did the camber, oh, and I raised the height a little bit so it's a bit more even. But um, now I'm gonna pack up my tools, take it to get aligned, bring it back from the alignment, go pick up the S13 from the fabricators, bring that back here, and then unbox all this shit into the house, and then drive to Matt's place, and pick up his helmet, and drive home, or maybe drive to Derek's and drop shit off. Pretty much, it's busy. It's a really, really busy day. Yeah, kind of non-stop moving. But when I take it to the alignment place, I'm gonna get him to chuck in. Oh, so we'll, we'll find out what the caster is sitting at, because currently we have no idea. Um, we'll match up the camber, we'll match up the, the toe. Yeah, once that's sorted, good to go. Probably go toe in a little bit, because if we're drifting this thing, we don't want to go toe out, because we'll have too much uh, dragging of the trailing steering, of the trailing wheel. I don't, I don't have the power to, so toe in a little bit, um, so I can still get that turn in, low angle, keep going through, less scrubbing. Fastest gear, because lower speed car. 
i'm gonna pack up.